If you have a bit of the Green Bay Distillery, a, a great uh, uh, eatery as well as bar, it's just across from the Don Hudson Center, and we got Jesse there, and uh, doing a little cooking, and it's kind of cool because this time of year, especially here in Northeast Wisconsin, people are out watching the basketball games, Absolutely. all the different establishments, and you have some of the classic food here. And right now, my stomach is just. <laughs> it's making so much noise. We've got the hot wings. We've got the fried cheese curds. You got a lot of the traditional stuff that people might expect. Absolutely, at the bar. absolutely. And we also have stuff that maybe not is quite a traditional, but it's fresh and it's good. It's bruschetta. Yeah. And you're going to show us how to make it. Absolutely. Lexia. All right. What we're going to start is we're going to take some of these tomatoes, about three tomatoes. Okay. Just a little olive oil. Chopped up, a little olive oil. Mix that olive oil in real good because you're going to put it in the oven for 450 about 20 minutes. You want those to be spread for out. 20 minutes. So those get nice and they're going to have a little darkness to them in, at the end. And that's just a great way to get your roasted tomatoes to start with. Absolutely. All right. Where do we go from there after we have them roasted up? All right. So I got the end product here, really. You're going to take, you got your roasted tomato right away. And there's nothing else. There's just roasted tomato there. It's got great color. Oh, yeah. That, that roast really brings a lot of flavor out. The same with the peppers, those are roasted too. And this is what I like, I do love roasted peppers. Yeah, oh. and that's a little different than a regular bruschetta. Then we add uh, some fresh onions, some fresh tomatoes. And now that's interesting, some fresh tomatoes just to give it that, you know, little, a little bit more bite to it. Absolutely, probably. a little freshness. Then we add the balsamic vinaigrette, about a third of a cup in there. We mix this all together. How easy is this? So the, right. the longest thing you're going to have to do is do is roasting uh, the peppers and tomatoes. It's about all the time, yeah. And then we literally just mix it up all together. And you got a couple of different ways to serve this. Yeah. So I have a. This would be an appetizer. We would uh, melt cheese over the bread, a mozzarella, and then you top it. That's what I'm talking about. Top it with a little bit of this. Oh yeah. And this is available at your restaurant. This is available. This is the bruschetta appetizer. Oh, that is nice. And it's a little different than a regular bruschetta. It's, it's uh, baked on cheese. And we'll just uh, whoop, sprinkle a little bit of this over it. And voila, your own homemade bruschetta. That looks very nice. And you also have, of course, the chicken sandwich. You want to get a little more meatier. Right. And we got the grilled chicken breast with the melted cheese on there. And just top this with a little bit of this. Cold. Freshen it up nicely. You got a pesto mayo. Oh, that is all so, so good. And you're going to just finish that off like that. All right. Pesto a couple of different ways. <laughs> Jesse, thank you so much for joining hey, us. Thank you. We appreciate it this morning. Again, it's the Green Bay Distillery.